My name is Lorraine Whitmarsh and I'm a lecturer in environmental psychology at Cardiff University. My research focuses on public perceptions of climate change um, and public responses to climate change primarily. Um, I also look at uh, things like people's energy behaviour, their travel behaviour and how we might change um, those behaviours. And how might we change those behaviours? Uh, yep, very good question. It's a combination of communication and then more structural kind of changes that we need. So at the moment we have a lot of policies which focus on encouraging people to do green things, but unfortunately that won't get us very far because there's lots of reasons why even with the best will in the world um, and people persuaded that we need to do green things, that, um, it's very difficult to do some of those things. So we might not have a bus service where we live, we might not own our flat so we can't install insulation. Some of the cost of low carbon technologies is, um, is prohibitive for a lot of people and so on. So there's just a lot of reasons why um, even with um, the best information given to people we still need lots of other things to make um, low carbon alternatives cheaper um, to sort of change the built environment and the sort of transport infrastructure and so on so that the options um, that are less environmentally damaging are easier for us to take. Um, so yeah, it's a combination of information and broader structural policies. And can you explain a little bit about carbon literacy and carbon capability, please? Yeah, okay. So um, a lot of people have suggested that the public need to be more carbon literate, um, which generally is sort of seen to mean that uh, they need to know more about the carbon um, that is emitted from the choices that they make. So if you take a plane versus a car, what's the carbon um, footprint of, of those different options, which is going to be more environmentally damaging? Um, and so that knowledge is seen to be important because maybe it will influence people's choices and they choose a low carbon option. Um, as I've just mentioned, the, sort of, there's lots of reasons why people do things and their knowledge of environmental factors may only be a very small part of that. Um, so carbon literacy may be important, but what we've talked about is carbon capability, which is partly about how do we understand the options available to us and which are better for the environment and which are worse, um, but also to what extent are we able to act on, um, on those different options and choose the low carbon alternatives available. And part of that is about the, the kind of the resources available to us, the skills that we may have, um, and definitely the sort of the, the, the structures within society and how are we directed to low carbon alternatives versus high carbon ones. So um, we've sort of taken a bit of a broader view than some of the sort of conventional um, give, in, give information to people and they will do the right thing. We've tried to say actually it's a bit more complex and we need to kind of make people, uh, enable people to do the right thing as well as sort of encourage them to. Great. And you mentioned briefly during the seminar work that uh, you've started doing. Could you could you tell us what's coming up with the with your research? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I've been interested in climate scepticism for quite a while. So we're still continuing with a lot of that work to understand what really drives scepticism and how different types of information might influence people to be more or less sceptical. Um, so that work is ongoing, and we're also beginning to look at how. Um, talking about climate change as a social justice issue um, and as uh, reframing it in terms of individuals being part of a collective effort as opposed to just um, being on their own, trying to encourage to change their light bulbs and do sort of individual kind of behaviours, um, that actually talking about sort of being part of something bigger might be a bit more of an effective approach. So we're just beginning to do experiments to, to, to study that at the moment. Great. Um